Hello everybody and welcome to Dacman Productions review video. In this review we are going to look at the brand new MTH TTX Caboose. This particular road number is TTX number 100. Now I posted some pictures of my brand new Caboose. I just got delivered today, Saturday. And I was bombarded with questions, Does, is there really a prototype for this caboose? Yes, this caboose actually really could, uh, existed um, as a prototype. So what it boils down to is uh, Trailer Train and TTX, uh, both of those versions really did have um, cabooses. And it would either say Trailer Train or TTX on it. Of course, everybody knows that Trailer Train became TTX later on. So, uh, let me give you an explanation of this uh, caboose. Uh, besides railroads, a number of operations had cabooses for various purposes. Among them was Trailer Train. Usually this meant someone from the company was riding the train for any number of purposes, either for as an escort, for a load, or to observe, among other things. Uh, interestingly enough, since I'm a Conrail person, uh, Conrail actually had TTX cabooses assigned to them. So that was one of my main reasons and my main drives for actually buying this, because as you know, anybody who watched my videos, Conahay Rail would know that Conahay Rail is based on Conrail during the uh, early 70s to late 90s um, in that broad range. So let's take a look at this uh, MTH caboose. This is my first MTH extended vision caboose. The other ones I own, uh, extended vision cabooses are Lionel. Um, the MTH caboose, unlike the Lionel, does not have smoke, but it does have a lighted interior. If you look at the MTH caboose, you'll you'll see that it has uh, the new up-to-date reflectors on it, uh, diecast trucks, uh, and here's the underneath. There you go. So there's the undercarriage. Not too bad. Like I said, this is my first MTH caboose, so I'm pretty satisfied with it. Um, it does come... Let me see if I can move my hand. It does have a figure inside. So there you go. He's riding the rails, keeping a watchful eye, making sure the train's okay. So, once again... Uh, these really existed. So, what about TTX number 100? Specifically itself, did that really exist? Yes, it did. And I will show you a picture of it right here. Okay, now we're back. So now as you see, TTX number 100 actually really did exist. It was used for research and engineering. It was a research and engineering caboose, actually. So uh, that was part of the drive of why I pur purchased this particular road number. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's got the, the MTH knuckle couplers. For those who like MTH, you pretty much already know the quality of the cabooses. Um, but for me, this, like I said, this is my first extended vision caboose. So I'm pretty happy uh, with how it looks. So let's, uh, let's light it up and see what it looks like. All right, so it does have a limited interior. Um, is not too well detailed but I guess I'm used to Atlas. Let's take a look at the tail end here. So it looks like they put the red light on the back 
and the front of this as well. So it has an illuminating red light on both both ends of the uh, caboose here. So I guess that way you can pull it from either end of the train and have a red light working. So anyway, I was pretty excited to get this piece. Um, I'm making this video for those who are not aware that TTX really had cabooses in real life or prototypically. So yes, they did. Uh, MTH made a nice reproduction of it. And um, if, if you like TTX or Trailer Train, uh, this is a must have. And I got mine uh, as soon as it came out. So I hope you enjoyed the video, the little history behind TTX and Trailer Train on the cabooses, and catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.